Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel for another Surrey video. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we've had a bit of a disaster this weekend, purely down to injuries, two really bad injuries, which we'll come on to in a moment in time, and one DMP, which has yeah, a massive DMP in the Bundesliga team. But starting straight with some positives, we've got a tier two rare to open and a tier four super rare on the 23 to open as well. So it's not all doom and gloom, but yeah, two really bad injuries. Starting off with the Mbappe competition, 436 points. That's two out of the three raffle tickets I've got to potentially beat Mbappe. If he wasn't for Courtois' own goal, potentially having a chance at winning a card in that as well. Now, for some reason, guys, I can't scroll down um, on my screen. So you have to use this kind of box in the top left-hand corner. The Tier 2 surprisingly comes from the special, the, the Cap 200. Um, M. Cuckoo, uh, how do you say his name? 8 0 Nice uh, won that game. I did expect him to start, to be honest. He did start and get a couple of goals and an assist as well. Um, Hayden with a really good score by any decisive, I believe. Timber in a crazy game, Man City versus Arsenal, which I'm not going to talk about too much. Uh, I'm sure you've heard it all weekend and saw the game, but yeah, a very crazy game right there. But my best reward is actually coming from this special weekly. So that's the kind of weekend I've had. On so rare into the Premier League now. Obviously, we all saw the Allison news before the deadline, so I did have Allison in this team, of course. And that was the first team I set and um, do my lineups on first. Now that was kind of set in stone. I was buzzing. I had Allison, Trent, Romero, Madison, and so on. I thought this is the weekend where I'm definitely going to card maybe a tier two, T one, and above. Then we saw the news on, I think it was Friday morning, where Allison obviously was a doubt for the game. I did bring Leno in. It was between him and Aaron Ramsdale. You know, obviously, they had Ipswich at home. Yeah, I do apologise for my camera. Keep flashing as well, guys. Um, but yeah, winning the box in the Premier League on that one. I need to sort my camera. Why does it keep flashing? Um, hopefully, that kind of fixes itself during the video. Um, and then the other two are just safe lamps. Nothing to, to really shout about, really. Newcastle losing 3-1, um, and then, yeah, Man United doing well, but again, Gordon and Bruno Gomez with an Erlington goal, I think it was, in the following game. So they're just both safe in the Premier League. La Liga, just one team in there, winning the box. Again, going to try and move on quick as possible. I'm not boring you guys too much. And then this where the DMP comes into play. So I knew Neuer was, a, was an injurious beforehand, and from what I saw from the press conference and obviously back in training as normal, so... He was definitely going to play on Twitter. He was in the starting lineup, had the notification, and then he got injured. Or well, not injured in the warm-up, but he got kind of, kind of more a precaution. He felt something in the warm-up. So he was due to play. I saw some people make a comment saying he was already injured, which I saw from the Champions League. Obviously, he came off at half-time in the Champions League game. Um, but he was due to start. He was in the starting eleven, but I had pulled out in the warm-up. I did put words a bit of a differential in this lineup. And I finished in 18th position. That flashing is doing my bloody head. And, um, so I do apologize again for that camera flashing, guys. Um, yeah, I put Wirtz in this lineup. A bit of a differential. Bayern won 5 0. Wirtz, obviously, captain, getting a goal as well. No one above me, I don't believe, in Division 1 Bundesliga Classic had Neuer. So I'm pretty certain if Neuer did play and kept a clean sheet again, he might not have kept a clean sheet um, being in goal. I would have you know, got another 60 odd points there, potentially. Um, well, yeah, 60, so potentially winning the, the whole thing in a star rare plus 700 odds. But all if, buts, and maybes. And we'll move on to the next lineups, which is champion. And we'll just do the classic ones. That's my main sort of area. Um, so the two ones are here we can see is Rodrigo's team here. Literally miles away from um, kind of rewards. And just above my head, I can't scroll, scroll guys, for some reason. It's a bit of a bug. This is where the first kind of bad injury comes into play. So, Rodri just behind my head. We've all seen the news. He's out for the rest of the season. That's a major call for me and my gallery, especially playing Classic. And another guy here in Testegen. So, Testegen come off injured for Barcelona. And he is apparently out for six to nine months as well. So, losing one of the best champion goalkeepers in my gallery and losing potentially my best player in, in my gallery as well, in Rodrigo, or Rodri. So yeah, a massive blow this weekend, just in terms of injuries, you know, 
I would have taken no card rewards just to keep those guys fit for the rest of the season. So, massive blow. I don't have the funds to go out there and replace those guys. I do, obviously, I'm very fortunate to have like, the likes of Phil Foden. I do have Gundogan as well. Um, and some other players that can definitely put in instead of Rodri. Take a bit more of a blow. I think goalkeepers are really hard to find, especially for a big team like Barcelona. Yeah, really disappointed there, guys. But that's part and parcel of the game, I guess. Just don't expect two of your key players to be injured on the same weekend. Then into Challenger. Now, I have gone down to Classic here, but for some reason, again, guys, I'm literally, I'm literally scrolling on the mouse. I can't scroll down. And the main one in here is a Classic Division 1. Messi played really poor from what I saw and heard. I didn't actually see the game. kicked off quite early on a Saturday night, I believe. Um, Pascal could do his business. I did watch a bit of this game, Charlotte versus New England. That was later on on Saturday after the um, AJ boxing fight. Um, and yeah, New England are absolutely shocking. Watch the last half an hour or so. Hill had a decent A score after losing 4-0. Uh, I was mainly watching for Kieran Vargas when he came on the pitch. For the last 20 minutes or so. And I'm going to skip over contender. Jump into under 23. So this is my other reward. I'm at a tier 4 in here. Again for some reason. I'll kind of zoom out a little bit on here. Um, Vargas has just kind of been cropped out. No idea why. But he scored that goal. Come on. He was on the bench. He scored. Finished in 5th position. The only downside here. Was um, Rome um, Rain Jade and Aruso Arado. Who didn't keep a clean sheet. Which he normally does do. And again, if he does keep a clean sheet, I know it's all if, buts, and maybes, but I think he's played like six games this season, kept five clean sheets before this game. Um, so yeah, quite lucky there not to be winning the tier two. And other 23, mixed bag. The keeper didn't play. And Bogus didn't play as well. Or Bogus, I say his name. So game relegated in. These are all division two, by the way. Promoted in this one. So I did split up um, Silver and Trubin. Just because I was a bit worried about Silva being dropped. I know D Bass was a 95% starter where Silva was like an 80%. percent do not take no risk, but still you have about 10, 12, 13 points in between that difference. So again, promoted Division 1 there, Division 3 relegated there, and staying in Division 2 in this game. And then those are just my training laps. So that's my team for the weekend, guys. Let's jump over to the awards and see which tier 4 Super Round winning. And also tier 2 rare card I'm winning from the weekend. So here we go guys. Let's open these rewards. If you haven't seen my last reward video. I'm holding back some of these boxes. Um, and only opening the champion um, boxes. I don't think. I'm sure I had a, at least a La Liga one this week. Um, and obviously from the Mbappe competition as well. So I'll open these um, off, off stream or off camera in my own time. So let's start off with the tier 4 super rare first of all. Finishing in fifth position, again, not expecting too much. Maybe a guy that doesn't really play, but some of a bright future. Austrian, Nicholas Binder. Let's check this guy out. Again, any feedback or any comments about this guy in the comment section below, please let me know. I have no idea this guy. I've never actually seen this guy before today. Now, he is a sub player, but he actually come on last two games, got a goal, and I think won a penalty there. He has been a starter before. Um, again, I'd love to say I know this guy, but I do who he is. But he is a forward, which is very good for under 23. He's still 22 years old, so a couple of years left of utility for under 23 as well after the season. The overall guy for a tier 4, I will take that all day long. Now, this is a tier 2 rare. I think I'm somewhere near the bottom. I did have a quick check of the prize pool um, early on today. And there were some really good names in the tier 2 pool some really bad ones as well so fingers crossed and here we go the tier two it's english it's a midfielder for crystal palace it's adam wharton wow a tier two adam wharton i'm buzzing guys to be fair i haven't, I haven't seen his scores this season but i know last season he was playing really well um okay some, some decent a scores there 19 20 28 against Leicester, obviously United and Chelsea, very tough games, but Premier League midfielder, you know, we mentioned about replacing Rodri earlier on in the video, and again, I'm not saying he's going to be Rodri levels, but just another midfield to have in there, and I've also got Leno as the in-season goalkeeper in the Premier League, having water now, I'm still building into like an in-season Premier League team, perhaps, this is a card 
I will be keeping on. The only concern now is coming off at half time against United. Why was that? I didn't actually see this game. Um, was it the Friday night game or Saturday night game? I think it was. Yeah, I didn't watch that game at all. So, again, why did it come off at half time against United, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. But overall, I am absolutely buzzing. According to this, he's 100% starting against Everton away. A tier two, Adam Wharton. I will take that all day long. A Premier League midfielder. Um, yeah, guys, I'm really happy with that one. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, as always. Let me know in the comment section below of the plays I pulled and also who you pulled from the weekend as well. I'm planning to do a bit of a giveaway moving forward. I've got some boxes to open from Rivals, so I'm going to do a video on that very shortly, plus a giveaway. As always, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I'll catch you on the next one.